Well, joining me now, Florida Governor, GOP presidential candidate, and former JAG officer with the Navy, Ron DeSantis. Governor, uh, you know, according to the latest update from the White House, obviously 27 Americans have tragically lost their lives. Another 14 remain unaccounted for. I know you just signed an executive order authorizing the rescue of Floridians and whatever uh, resources you have that are stranded over in Israel. What does the United States government need to do as a whole, though? Well, we need a president that's going to be engaged. I mean, uh, they didn't even wake him up on Saturday. He didn't take that 2 a.m. phone call. And then he kind of blundered through the weekend, not leading. Uh, he's finally said that this is unacceptable, and he has taken the side of Israel, at least rhetorically. But he's not been willing to call out Iran. And they've been very slow on moving to get Americans out of Israel who want to get out of the war zone. Uh, they just said, well, we may be able to get you to Europe, but then you're going to have to pay your own way. Stranding people in Europe doesn't make sense. So I did an executive order for Florida. Uh, we're marshalling planes in Israel. We have some stationed throughout the Middle East already. I think we're going to be able to get some people on board prior to the Shabbat uh, weekend that starts in Israel at sundown on Friday. Bring them back to Florida. We're bringing supplies on the way there, uh, rescuing people on the way out. And we'll keep running those iterations. Um, until we get the people home who want to come back to the state of Florida. Well, you certainly have a pretty good handle about what needs to be done. You were a JAG officer, so you obviously understand the legal perils. We crossed paths over in Iraq quite a few years ago. But you understand right now what the soldiers on the ground are concerned about. Should they be sent to go in there, especially under Joe Biden, who has put politics over people pretty much every time, as you just said? What is your message to him should he decide to put troops on the ground? Well, the first thing I would say is, in terms of the broader uh, Gaza offensive, uh, I don't think there is going to be a need for, for U.S. forces. Israel can fight their own wars. Uh, this is what they prepare for. We've provided a lot of assistance over the years, and I support doing that, and I support continuing uh, to supplement their effort. I do think the one area where you could see uh, U.S. forces is some of the guys that you know well uh, who would be involved in things like hostage, uh, right. hostage rescue. Uh, but that's going to be in conjunction with the IDF as well. The IDF, they, they control the battle space. They know uh, mm -hmm. what's going on. If it requires U.S. forces to save an American, then the president should be willing to do that, but then back those guys to the hilt, make sure they have everything they need to be able to do. Those are very dangerous missions. We want everybody to be able to come home safely. But I would imagine they're going to be working very closely with the IDF on something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I sure hope so on that one. But we, look, we know defense spending, and we were just talking to Congressman Ryan Zinke about this, can be like super unaccountable, and they just blanket money to whatever they can under the banner of national security. Recently, this report came out uh, allegedly that Egypt had told Israel there was a threat. Another article almost simultaneously noted that some members of Congress made some, quote, timely investments into war stocks in the days leading up to the Hamas attacks. I mean, if this is true, how do we make sure this doesn't happen? And how is our government not more accountable? Well, look, I think that all remains to be seen. If you look at what over, overall the dynamics in the Middle East, you did have a situation where the Saudis were moving towards a potential peace agreement with Israel. That, that would be very bad for the Iranians because mm -hmm. that would basically mean the Sunni Gulf states are allied with Israel and the United States to blunt Iranian influence. So I understand there would be an issue as to why you know, they would want to do it. What, these, uh, what the Israeli government knew or what our Western governments do, I don't know. I think we're going to have to figure that out. Clearly, you know from, from, from operating this had to have a lot of operational security to be able to work this way. Mm -hmm. So the question is, uh, assuming they didn't do that perfectly, why wasn't there something intercepted? And there may be uh, an explanation for that. Yeah, I mean, the big concern, too, is, you know, did our representatives know about it? And that's the thing. But before I let you go, Governor, um, you obviously went to Harvard Law. How do you feel about some of the responses of the students taking a break from their microaggression class or inclusivity major to support terrorists? I think it's absolutely abhorrent. Uh, you have terrorists that are beheading infants. They're attacking and executing senior citizens, uh, mass raping women. This is the worst of human nature. Uh, this is worse than what ISIS would do in Al-Qaeda, and they were very bad. This is a new depth. Mm -hmm. And to go out there and protest in favor of that, that is sick. And these universities and these institutions that have allowed this ideology to run amok, uh, these are really sickly institutions. And I can tell you this, 
having somebody graduate Harvard now, uh, I think you get that resume on your desk. You got to ask a lot of serious questions mm -hmm. uh, before you go down that road. So, and we also have to look about our country's immigration system. Are we bringing in people to hate this country? Why would we do that? If you don't like this country, then just stay out of this country. And it seems like you've had through many decades now, a concerted effort to try to just bring people from all around the world without yeah. vetting whether they actually believe in the principles of our country. Fair point. Governor Ron DeSantis, we really do appreciate you joining us tonight, sir. Thanks.